Okay, so uh, what I've done today is uh, I have uh, put some sealer on the exterior wood on uh, the teardrop. Uh, this is in preparation to putting the aluminum on. And uh, what I used is I used uh, that mix uh, that I used when I did the floor, which is uh, um, polyurethane varnish uh, split in half with uh, mineral spirits. And I put it in there, it soaks into the wood, and I put two coats on it. And uh, we'll let that dry for a day or two. And then I'm going to put the aluminum on. Okay, so I've got the aluminum. I'm starting to, uh, to shape it. And so you can see I have it just laid across the top of the teardrop. And uh, it's a little long, so I just took a Sharpie and I just traced underneath here and I will trim that to, to shape. Um, and it's very much like uh, when I put the uh, plywood skins on. So like that. And then I have a board that goes across here just clamped in place just to hold it in the right place. Drilled for my, uh, uh, for my wires. And once I get it uh, trimmed to length, then uh, we will uh, put it in place for real. Okay, so here's the first aluminum piece that uh, I need to cut. And you can see here's the marks that I made uh, when I had the aluminum draped over the top, marked out for the vent, and also uh, marked out uh, for where I need to cut the back off. So I'm going to go ahead and set up and start cutting, and this will be the first cuts of aluminum that I do. Okay, for this I'm going to use uh, some electric shears that I uh, bought, and uh, I've got everything kind of propped up on some foam on this side, just so I've got uh, space here, and uh, let's see how this thing works. Okay, today I'm cutting aluminum for the side panels, and uh, I'm using my template. Um, so here's the template laying out on the aluminum. I use just a sharpie to uh, trace around the edges, and then where I had pre-measured uh, and pre-bored for the holes um, for uh, wires to come through. So this would be for the um, for the porch light, and then I've got the lights for the running lights, and also for these um, hinges. So I had pre-measured these on the template and uh, drilled some holes so that to tell me where they are. So I've gone ahead and uh, drilled um, out where the uh, wires will come through. So the next thing is, is I'll take the template off and uh, I'll get to cutting on the aluminum. In this case, I'm cutting right on the line, which will leave me about a sixteenth of an inch or so um, of uh, extra. One thing I've learned about these shears is you have to kind of get them at the right angle. And you have to cut. I'll just continue doing that all the way around and uh, we'll get this thing cut out. All right, uh, I've got it all cut out. Now the next thing to do is I'm going to take it out and I'm going to put it on the teardrop and just temporarily uh, uh, attach it in place and mark out the door, make sure all of the edges are uh, where they're supposed to be and they're not hanging out and if they are you know, figure out where to trim it and that kind of stuff. So, uh, anyway, I'm going to take it out there and I'm going to put it on the teardrop. Okay, so uh, here's the uh, aluminum just temporarily fastened onto the side here. Uh, you can see the penetrations for all the wires and whatnot. And you can see I've got a little gap, or a little bit of uh, space right here, 
So ideally what this space does is when I put the trim on, it will allow this aluminum to expand into that space when it gets hot. Um, so I don't get oil canning of the, of the metal. And uh, we'll just see how that works. I'm just leaving a little bit of, uh, a little of extra slop there and uh, we'll see how it works uh, in practice. Okay. Now what we're going to do is I'm just going to uh, take my Sharpie and I'm going to mark around this door for cutting it out. And, uh, my wife's outside pushing on the aluminum. Yeah, I'm also going to mark, uh, this is where the hatch is, so this will go on the side of the hatch, so I need to cut this out. Okay, so here's the part with uh, the door marked and the part for the hatch marked. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take the door and... where it's supposed to be. Make sure I got my gap about the same everywhere. And just kind of as a guide, I'll take a pencil. I'm just going to run a pencil around right there. That just gives me another guide. These cuts have to be pretty, uh, pretty close to, to perfect. Well, they're not perfect, but pretty accurate. And the reason is, is that um, the trim that I'm using has a very narrow lip, and so therefore it needs to be pretty much flush to make sure that that lip's going to cover uh, the edge of the ring. So... You probably can't see that because it's very light, but it gives me a little bit of uh, a little bit of uh, guidance as far as you know. Stay inside of you know, stay inside of this line, stay inside of that line, and, and uh, then we'll be okay. So uh, the next thing is to get uh, started here. So in order to start, um, I'm using my oscillating tool again. And this is a uh, metal cutting blade. And so what I will do is I'll use my oscillating tool and I'll make a plunge. And then I'll make another plunge. So it makes that little strip, that little coil. So it gives me a start so I can drop the shears in and then cut. And this oscillating tool is really noisy. So I'm going to put my hearing protection on.
Take a little pair of pliers. And just start kind of folding that up into the coil. Drop my shears down in the slot. And then proceed as normal. Alright, so I've got that all cut out. Put that here for a second. Take my door. Put my door right here. And it fits my door. So I will um, fit that all up later on. I'm working on the sides now, so I'm just going to set this aside and then work on that in a little while. One thing I learned while doing the other side is that uh, the, uh, the electric shears don't like to make that curve, so I'm going to cut that by hand. I've just got some aviation uh, snips here. and These are right hand snips. You just kind of take your time and work your way around the corner. I'll clean this up with a router once I get it on the teardrop. Now you notice I'm cutting a little uh, The little tongue, like I cut out with the other, uh, with the electric shear, because once I get into a straight section here, I'm going to go ahead and use the electric shear. And so, and I'll finish cutting this out, and I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. This is the part that fits uh, then on the um, patch. Okay, so uh, I've got the metal uh, on the side here, and you can see uh, I've got a little bit uh, too much metal sticking up here. I'm going to put some trim on there so it needs to be flush. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the router and route that out uh, using my uh, trim bit. And because I don't want a uh, metal fragment, a little metal chip in my eye, I'm going to put on this really big safety glass. Okay, got that nice and uh, flush, and I'll do the same thing around the door.